Hello everybody, welcome to my first playthrough on an RP Gamer stream. Start to finish of a game. See if I hope keep up with it. I'm gonna play through Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. Um, preferably without the menu bar. There we go. Yeah, look at that. It's a very white screen. I need Final Fantasy VI Dark Mode. But I guess we'll just start a new game instead. The ancient war of the Magi. When its flames at last receded, only the charred husk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. In the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines took the place of magic, and life slowly returned to the barren land. Yet there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past and use its dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? Spoilers, yes. Cliff looks like a bunch of pixel barf. Look at that. Ooh, high definition fake wind sound. There's the city. Hard to believe an Esper's been found frozen there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Probably just another wild goose chase. Well, I don't know. They wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident the intel was good. Oh, uh, yes, our witch. I heard she fried 50 of our Magitech armored soldiers in three minutes. Kind of makes your skin crawl, don't it? Relax, with that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. That girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. I don't think you told her to, but okay. We'll approach from the east. Move out! So if she's supposed to interpret commands literally, I'm glad she didn't just walk east off the cliff. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster opening credit scene that has no credits and is unskippable. Yes, that's right, we two, you two get to watch three Magitek armor suits walk through a frozen wasteland with no pilots sticking out of them in contrary to, you know, what you just saw where the pilots clearly stick out above the top. At least the music's good. It's fake mode 7. Imagine if this was the actual speed you traverse the overworld at. Because keep in mind, that cliff they were in is at the top of the Narsh map, and they're going to Narsh. So this is just them walking down a cliff to the village. Or we're spot not supposed to remember that that cliff is reused later as a, the top point of Narsh, but, you know, either way. Alternately, they're approaching from the south, and the snow melts completely before you ever get to go out of the city and never returns south of Narsh, which makes also no sense. The girl takes point. Don't waste time on the riffraff. Remember what we're here for. Let's move. Ooh. 
Ooh, controls. Mm hmm Gotcha. I get a mini map? Is that really necessary? The Empire's got no business here. Mm -hmm. Look, it's a wolf. There gets lots of oh, there's there. Okay, never mind. See you. Forget how far up can I go here? That's it. Oh. Imperial Magitech armor, not even ours is safe anymore. Mighty Tam, yes, I am using several mods. I have got text box mods, font mods, pixel mo or uh, sprite mods. Um, and portrait mods. So if you take a look in the menu, you'll see I've got different portraits. These are the Opera Omnia portraits for the characters. Which I thought was pretty cool and anime looking. So, what with those. And uh, you'll see them next to their text boxes when they speak, once we get to main characters actually talking. And I got a little mod about where the name of the character is listed in the text box to make it more look like the SNES version, only because the portrait mods I use break the way it works in this game. So I needed a mod to make it something that's readable. Stop them for Narsh! Narsh. Narshoot. Use thunder this time. Use ice this time. Use bio this time. Moan Cappy says this is humanity's greatest achievement. This game is the greatest RPG of all time. Past, present, future, and in all realities. You know, I used to think that, and then I realized it's probably not true. It's a very limiting statement to make. Like, we can't do anything better than this. Come on. It's a great game. But, like... It's not like there aren't issues with it. Especially context matters, right? So like for its time, like we didn't do anything as good any time around here, but like since then we might and after then we have new expectations. But yeah, it's also the best game ever, so 